Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. Going to do a quick and dirty EP review over here of the new Gorilla Toss project, What Would the Odd Do? Don't know if you guys are familiar with them. I've covered them on the channel a couple of times, very positively. They're a band of weirdos from the New York area right now, and with every new release, stylistically, they become harder and harder and harder to pin down. Is it noise? Is it punk? Is it synth pop? Is it neo psych? The only thing I can definitively say about Gorilla Toss's music is that it is unapologetically zany. And on their last record, Twisted Crystal, they began presenting their newfound dance punk direction in a slightly more synthetic and trippy light. That was in 2018. Now in 2019, they are hitting us with this new short batch of tracks, which occasionally the band is known to do. They have quite a few EPs under their belts at this point. And this thing is basically five more tracks that add on to or just extend the more psychedelic and mind-expanding ideas from their last record. Is this a forecast of what's to come, or are they merely just cleaning house and getting rid of the rest of this stuff before they move on to a new sound with Gorilla Toss, who the hell knows. To go through these songs, we do have the title track, What Would the Odd Do?, which is a bit of a teaser, a taster, a tone setter, spaced out vocal swimming in a sea of what sounds like synths and these very tight, steady string sections. It's very simple, entrancing, lush, layered. On this one, it's like I'm booting my brain up and getting ready to join a hippie cult where we do nothing but take LSD and worship computers. We then have a hard transition into the track Plants, which has a grimy ass bass line. They top these rhythms, they top this bass line with lots of very reverb heavy vocals and synths. It's very blissful through and through. The track moves through a few quality transitions. By the end of it, it feels like I am existing in the middle of a synth heavy shoegaze rave. The only downside to this track is that the vocals are not really all that prominent and the singing is usually one of the most unique characteristics to Gorilla Toss's sound. To hear them as buried as they are here on this track and others as well throughout the EP is a slight letdown. The song Future Doesn't Know brings a funky futuristic groove in 15 time. Yes, it is an odd time signature. On top of these grooves are some laser guitar leads, lots of sound effects. There are even some points where the verses on this track feel almost like rapping or at least rhythmic spoken word. Bit of a change of pace for GT, but a welcome one. Thankfully, the song Moth Like Me changes the trend of, of more obscured vocals on the record and has one of the most shining choruses on the entire project. Outside I saw it, it looked just like me. Also, the bass and drums on this track are punchy as hell, the loudest on the entire record. They really want you to feel the groove on this one, and it, it, it is a fast, tense groove. The closing track on this one, Land Where Money's Nightmare Lives, kicks off in, in a much more low-key way than every other song. A lot more space between all of the instruments in the mix, more funky drums, some squelchy synths, the bass sounds like it's being fed through an envelope or a filter of some sort, so it's getting that wow, 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 wow sound to it. There's a lot of good ideas on this track. I like how it moves along in a linear fashion. It's just a tad bit washed out, but I guess I'm looking at this as more of a side project, an EP, where the production on the whole is not generally as good as it was on the last record. I don't think this is, uh, sound quality-wise, going to be indicative of Gorilla Toss's uh, direction forward. And still, despite the mix not being the best, I do love how the vocals and those revving synths on the end of this track come together. So overall, this EP, I mean, I loved it. I think it's another good addition to the Gorilla Toss discography. I think there are a lot of great tracks, ideas, sounds, tunes on this one. Not the best production of any Gorilla Toss album, but certainly not the worst, especially when comparing to a lot of the noisier, more abrasive releases in the group's back catalog. Don't know if this is a sound they're going to continue toying with moving forward, but uh, either way, as long as they continue to bring good core ideas at the center of whatever they're doing aesthetically, a Gorilla Toss are going to remain uh, a solid band, even if they uh, continue to be as underappreciated as they are. So uh, what would the odd do? Transition. Uh, th this EP, I loved it. I thought it was great. Make sure you give it a try too. And let me know what you think down in the comments. Anthony Fantano over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Gorilla Toss forever.